Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our next installment in our series of programs on playing card games um, solitaire. Um, we have an item here from a Charlotte Cavatica who writes in, uh, uh, hey card guy, I don't have a lot of space to play uh, cards, but I am looking for something that's fun but compact. Do you have any recommendations? Well, uh, Charlotte, the answer is yes, and I think the perfect game for you is called Little Spider. It's a lot of fun. I think you're really going to like it. So let's give it a shot, and we will begin with an overview of our deck. So, as you know, this is um, our standard pack of playing cards. This is a one-pack game, so all we need is 52 cards, as you see here. Uh, of course, the pack has two colors, red and black. We have four suits within, and 13 ranks per suit, ace through king. Uh, I would recommend, of course, beginning by shuffling this deck thoroughly. Uh, we recommend, of course, uh, shuffling this deck seven times to achieve the, you know, mathematically proven uh, maximum randomness so that you begin from truly a clean slate. Uh, now we're ready. So let's look at the layout of our game. It's actually very simple. Start with a nice clean surface and then lay out two rows of four cards, as you see here, with some space in between. This is going to form your tableau. Now on the tableau, you can play on each other. You can play cards that are in sequence, uh, independent of suit. But those cards can also be played on the foundations, which we'll show you in a moment. As cards become available, look for two black aces or two red kings or two red aces and two black kings. They have to be different colors, and these will form your foundations. When you have an ace foundation, your job is to build up in sequence within the suit of that foundation card, as you see here, ace through king. Now, when you have your king foundations, as we see illustrated here, your job is to build down. You are going to build down in sequence within that suit of that foundation card and end with ace. Now again, there is a choice here in the game. As cards become available, choose either the red ace or the black ace and the opposite kings accordingly. Next, the remaining cards in your pack will be dealt out eight at a time. Okay, well let's play a game and we'll see how it all comes together. So here I am beginning with a nice clean surface, nicely shuffled pack of cards, and we're going to start off by dealing our eight cards. And do that in rows of four with a little bit of space in between to make room for the foundations uh, as they become available. So right out of the gate here, you can see that um, we have an ace in our tableau, and this is going to be slid forward and form our foundation. Therefore, if we are using red aces, then we're also looking for black kings. Those will be the four foundation cards for our game. Next, what you're going to do is to build on the tableau in sequence. So that nine can accept the eight and the seven. And again, you can build them in any order. You could have put a 10 on that nine, and you can also change direction, just as long as the cards are always one step apart from one another, you know, AKA in sequence, that works. So I've dealt another eight cards here. Now let's see what else we can do. That seven can go on the six. We can also put that six on that seven. Start to get these cards arranged in sequence because it's gonna be very helpful later to have them arranged accordingly uh, in order to find cards that are needed to play up on the foundations. And I think you're gonna see that play out here in a moment. So here I am dealing another eight cards. Remember when you have empty slots, uh, they only can be filled when you uh, deal the eight cards. Now I found a nice black king here, so I have two foundation cards ready. And my job is to continue to play up on the tableau. And again, you have to do it in sequence. So you see how I've done the six, five, four, three. That nine can go up on that 10. And again, you can take cards off and on again and shuffle them around in order to reveal cards strategically that you need to play up on those foundations. So let's have a look at that tableau. The five can go on that six. Here comes the four. What about that six over there? Well, you can build a seven on that six and reveal that king doesn't do much for us. So let's deal another round of eight cards, covering up those cards of our tableau. And now let's see what kind of opportunities we have. Well, that two of hearts can go right on the ace and we found our second red ace foundation. And again, 
those foundations on the A side will build up and the kings will build down. Now I'm continuing to shuffle cards around here in the tableau, always in sequence. And when you run out of moves, well, just deal another round of eight cards as you see here. Now let's see if we can find some opportunities. Oh good, we found another black king. We now have all foundations represented and you can build up the three and the four of hearts on your ace foundation and hopefully build all the way up to king. Remember, aces build up, kings build down. So we can move some cards here on top of each other within the tableau and as you reveal cards that match the suit of your foundations, go ahead and graduate those cards up to the foundations. Meanwhile, I'm moving cards around here on the tableau. Where can that seven go? Move up on that eight, followed by the six. Let's put a five on top of that. That six now can maybe go up on that seven. No, oh, and we revealed a three of diamonds, which is helpful. We can put that on our foundation. Put that four on the five, put that five on the six. And you can do that. Go in a, you can reverse direction, six, seven, eight. Again, as long as they're one step apart in sequence, very liberal rules for building cards on the tableau. Here goes the four and the five. Let's put that six and the seven and the eight. See what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm kind of sifting through cards here in sequence so that I can see uh, cards that are currently covered and find them hopefully to place on my foundations. Let's deal out the last of the four cards here. So now we're finished, everything is dealt. That five can go onto your heart foundation as you see here, that's helpful. That three can go here. Again, we're building in sequence. Let's fill that empty position with the king, the queen, and the jack. Let's see, can we build on that sequence? Let's fill that empty position, put the queen on top, maybe the jack here. Can I do that queen there? No, let's go ahead and put that queen where it belongs, frankly, on that spade foundation. That's a better spot for that card. How about that six? You bet, you can fill an empty position with any card on top that strategically works for you. And you can see, I'm sifting through cards in sequence, and it's independent of suit, just as long as they're one up, one down from each other, that qualifies. Let's see, how about that three on the two, followed by the four and the five? How about that eight on top of that nine? You see what I'm, we're, we're kind of reorganizing, and now we're revealing cards as we sift through them in order. So now that nine goes down to the eight and seven, can you put that eight on top? You bet, can you change direction? And in the course of doing so, you've revealed a couple of hearts that belong in the heart foundation. We're sifting through cards and we're searching for cards that we need to place. So here we can start a new pile here with the five, four, three, and two. What else can we do? Well, that jack can go on that 10 and then the queen and the king can follow. Now let's fill that empty position. And again, be, be creative. Try different piles, it'll reveal cards that are hidden, and as you sift through, again, the rule is in sequence, you can reveal cards that then belong on the foundations. Put that king on top of the queen. Let's see, what's next? Let's fill that empty position here. Uh, we'll put that ace, and then we'll kind of sift through this whole run, and in doing so, we revealed the five of diamonds, which is perfect. Now we can advance that card to the foundation where it belongs, and look what we've done. We found some hearts that belong on the ace of hearts foundation. Keep going through the nine, the eight, and the seven. We can put the eight over here. Again, mix it up. Now with that nine of clubs, you can have the eight and the seven join. We can put the nine and the 10 and the jack here. Continue sifting through these cards in sequence. Shuffle through them, looking for cards that we know we need to put up on the foundation. How about this 10 here? We can start the 10. Actually, that 10 does a better job on our spade foundation. So let's put that 10 where it belongs got a couple of empty slots here, so let's think about what's the best card to fill those positions and sift through the cards that we have arranged in sequence, looking for cards that belong in the foundations. We found a nine and an eight here, so we're making some progress here, as you see, and we were benefiting from having put these cards in sequence on our tableau. Now we're really just building up. All the cards are ready. Let's speed this up a little bit here. And you can see all the cards nicely move up to the foundations where they belong, keep those sequences in order, and look what happened. We won Little Spider. Uh, there you have it. So as you can see, this is a very compact game, uh, Charlotte. It is a lot of fun. It's a very winnable game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and remember, in parting, you're never alone if you've got a pack of cards. Uh, so thanks again for joining me. Oh, and be sure to join us again next time.